Hey, I'm Ali Saunders, and in today's video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, I'm going to show you two different ways to create a gradient overlay in Premiere Pro. Gradient overlays create a really unique and cool look to your video edits and make them more fun and creative. The video clips that we're going to be using today are stock footage clips found on Storyblocks.com. They make it really easy to find stock footage for all your editing and video needs. I've downloaded the clips and imported them into Premiere Pro. Here they are in the timeline. And whenever I'm creating gradient overlays, I like to put them on an adjustment layer so that I can easily choose different blend modes for my overlay. You'll see what I mean coming up. Let's click on the new item icon, adjustment layer. Okay. And we'll drag that adjustment layer over top of this clip. Next in the effects window search bar, let's type in ramp. And in the video effects generate folder, we'll drag the ramp effect on that adjustment layer. In effect controls, by default, our start color is black, which shows at the top of frame and the end color is white showing at the bottom of frame. Before we adjust the colors, let's change the ramp shape from linear ramp to radial ramp so that we can mimic the round glow of the sun behind the couple. Where it says start of ramp, we can adjust the X axis position to around 1765 so that the placement of the start of the ramp is in the position that the sun is. And I'd like this overlay to more gradually change in color. So where it says end of ramp, let's adjust the Y axis position to 2500. Now if we really extended the position here to around 7000 like so, as you'll notice we start to get banding over our gradient, which are these visible stripes within the contrasting colors. If that were taking place and we didn't want it to take place, you could increase the ramp scatter. Just to show you, I'll increase it to 400. And that's adding noise to your image, which decreases banding, but in doing so, you add more noise. So I just wanted to show you what ramp scatter does. I'm going to undo those last few steps because we're not going to use ramp scatter in this case. And now let's change the start color by clicking on the color picker box and we'll choose yellow to mimic the sun. Okay. We'll change our end color to a nice magenta. Okay. Next, let's change blend with original to 40%. Great, now that's already looking really good and we could choose to be done. But because we have an adjustment layer above this clip, when we change the blend mode, we'll get different blending effects. The blend mode's currently set to normal. Let's click the drop down menu and we could choose darken, which would look like this, overlay, which would look like this. We could choose any of these blend mode options. I'm gonna choose lighten. And lastly, I'll change the opacity to 90%. Let's check out the before and after. So this is the original and this is the clip with the ramp effect on. Using the ramp effect is one way to achieve that gradient overlay look using two different colors. Next, we'll go over to the second stock footage clip, drag the adjustment layer over top of it. And we're gonna use another effect that gives us a few more options when it comes to the amount of colors we can work with. In our effect window search bar, type in four color gradient and in the video effects generate folder, we'll drag four color gradient onto the adjustment layer. By default, we we have yellow, green, pink, and blue in each of the four corners of our frame. Let's go into effect controls and just like we did previously, we can adjust the position of any of these points. We can also drag any of the colors all the way out of frame. We'll just undo that. Because this clip shows a woman listening to music, getting into it and dancing, we're going to keep the colors that we use in this overlay fun and vibrant. And we can actually choose specific colors that the woman's wearing. We'll just turn that effect back on. Let's select the color one eyedropper. I'll click on this bright pink bracelet. So the color one is now the color of her bracelet. Let's click on the color two eyedropper and choose this yellow in her sweatshirt. We'll pick this nice teal color for color three and color four will be this vibrant blue. And adjusting blend allows you to change the amount of blend between each of these colors. I'm going to undo that to reset it because 100 looks good to me. Let's change blending mode to hard light. That's looking good and we could be done there, but I actually don't want these colors to blend too much over this woman's face. So I'm gonna quickly create a mask within this effect. To do that, let's click on the ellipse mask in the effect and we'll use our hand tool to click on this mask and move it over her face. I'll increase the width and height to make sure all of her face is within the mask. Next in the effect controls panel under mask, let's check mark inverted so that we now have our gradient overlay surrounding her with her face under 
unaffected. And lastly, so that we don't have this drastic edge that very clearly indicates we've created a mask, let's add more mask feathering. We'll set the mask feather to 500. Okay, that's looking really good. So there you go. Those are two different effects that you can use to create a gradient overlay to add a certain mood to your shot to make it more vibrant and interesting. And that brings us to the end of this video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks. My name is Ali Saunders and I hope you enjoyed learning these two different options to create gradient overlays using the ramp effect and the four color gradient effect. We'll see you next time.